Will I be able to hide my license plate from cameras using this frame? Let's find out. For this tutorial, you will need the following materials, a USB cord, a USB car charger, 200 ohm resistors, a license plate frame, wire, a switch, and super bright 5mm infrared LEDs. Remove the license plate from the wrapping. Underneath, you will see there is room to store the electronics, although they just barely fit. To prepare for drilling, I am drawing a center line along the license plate surface. To use this trick, look how I place my middle finger. It's pretty easy. I just line up my middle finger, use my index finger to draw the line. Next, I mark the intersections where the LEDs will go. I'm putting two on each side and one in each corner for a total of 12 LEDs. Next, I'm at my drill press and I'm using a five millimeter drill bit to drill into the license plate frame on my markings. Remember when drilling to use safety glasses, these plastic pieces may go flying where unexpected and you were only given two eyes. Afterwards, I check out the holes and I erase the remaining pencil marks. They look good. Now I'm testing how the LEDs will fit into the holes. It seems like this is a pretty nice fit. They're five millimeter LEDs and these are five millimeter holes. Next, I'm using hot glue to secure each one of the LEDs into the frame. I go from the bottom, put a little glue down, and after the bottom, then I move to the top of the LED and put a little more glue on the other side. Who else loves using hot glue? I love hot glue, it's awesome. You can use it on so much stuff. Now is hot glue the perfect glue for this application and device? I don't know, but this is just for show. So I'm going with hot glue. And here's what it looks like with all the LEDs glued in place. Next, I solder a brown wire from the wire bundle to all of the ground legs on each LED. They will share a common ground afterwards. This part was very time consuming and if I made one of these again, I might look out for a better way. Maybe I would design a printed circuit board or a PCB. I had to strip all these wires. That was one of the most time consuming parts. And then I had to join two wires to each leg and yeah, it was a headache. Here's what it looks like with all the ground pins connected by the brown wire. And here's a close up. I then soldered a 200 ohm resistor onto each of the positive pins of the LEDs. I then connected those positive pins using orange wire and heat shrink where needed. Here I'm going in for a close up where you can see the orange wire and see how I connected the orange wire to the wire bundle and the brown wire to the wire bundle. Those are the positive and ground leads. Next, I'm disassembling the USB cord that we're gonna be using for power. You can use just about any USB cord here. All you need to make sure is that one end is the USB type A male connector. You can keep the other half for another project or you can throw it away. Now you're gonna to have to find the power and ground wires, probably using something like a multimeter. Next, I'm going to solder the USB power wire to the switch. And then I solder the other pin switch to the orange wire in the other end of the wire bundle. Finally, I solder the USB ground wire to the brown wire in the other end of the wire bundle. Then I connect the car charger and everything is set up. So we have the car charger going to the USB cord, going to the switch, going to the bundle, going to the license plate frame. Next, I'm attaching the frame to the car using a screwdriver. This process would also work for the front license plate. It's basically the same. Now I open up the hatch and I'm going to start routing the wire bundle through the car. I throw it in the back. Here it is going along my trunk through the floor. And then I bring it up to the front and I'm going to plug it in into the 12 volt adapter. And note, if you do have USB ports, you could use those, but I'm just demonstrating the car charger here. All right, now I had to wait for nighttime so I could get the stuff set up. So here is a view of the license plate. I have the flashlight on right now. And now we're gonna check out the camera. I'm using a D-Link 5010L security camera. I've taped off some of the LEDs so that it's not so bright and everything's mounted to a tripod. Now I'm in my car and we're looking at the camera feed through one of my other phones. There's a delay through the internet, but when I press the button, what happens? It works. The infrared LEDs are blinding the camera and the license plate is not visible. And here is a view directly from the camera. Pretty cool stuff, huh? 
If you want to see what it looks like in regular mode, I've switched to the day mode. You can still see the LEDs, but they are not blinding. What do y'all think? How can this be made better? Comment below and subscribe for more.